In this video, I wanna share with you my rental items manager made inside of Glide. Glide is a no-code platform that allows anyone to build custom apps and websites without code. If you have a business where you rent out things, whether you're renting out cars or bikes or tents or anything else you can rent out these days, you need some way to track who has what and what is available. I recently purchased the storage space to store our camper and the guy who owns the lot literally wrote down our information on a piece of paper, like a table on a piece of paper. And my question is like, what happens if that paper gets lost? Like, how do, you, how do you know how to contact me? And you might say, well, Darren, I manage all this in my spreadsheet. It's a really, really cool spreadsheet. My counter argument would be Glide makes it super easy to create custom apps and websites from spreadsheets. So why don't you go ahead and upgrade to this really nice rental management software. Let me go ahead and show you a demo of what this template looks like and how you can get started. If you follow the link in the description, you'll be brought to this page. This is Glide's template page for the rental items manager. Let's go ahead and preview this page. This opens up the project in a temporary state inside of Glide. This allows you to preview it and make sure that this template will work for your use case before you copy it to your account. You can see here right at the top, we have 30 total units that are available to be rented out. We have 11 units available and $3,120 in monthly revenue. This is determined by the units that are currently not available and assigned to somebody. The template is set up to bill things monthly at its current state. Below our key metrics there, we can check out our available units. We can see here for the demo project that this template is set up for an RV lot. RV lots typically have three types of units. They have uncovered units, covered units, and enclosed units. At a quick glance, we can see some key numbers here. So we can see the price of that specific unit type and then the total number of units available. Let's have a look at our covered units. When we click inside, we can see a table of the specific units that are available. So units number three, four, five, and six are currently available. If we click into that, we can then assign this to somebody and mark it as not available as a part of our onboarding process for a new renter. Since this is just a preview, we're not gonna edit any of the data. On the left-hand side, we can see if we click on dashboard, that brings us back to our dashboard screen. And right below that, we can go to all rental items. This gives us that same table view that we were just looking at, but for all rental items. We can quickly see which items are taken that's noted by the dollar sign. Those are currently being paid for. The specific unit ID, type, and monthly cost. If we click inside, we can see the current renter that is taking that unit. We have their email number, and we've also uploaded the contract that they signed. We can edit this person's contact information or mark this item as returned and available and clear out this current renter. We can also add a new item available for rent right here from within the dashboard. We just need to add a unique ID and then specify the type of unit that is available for rent. We can also search this list for a specific unit or filter the units by unit type. So that's pretty much everything within the rental items manager template. If you want to copy this and start making it your own, just follow that link down in the description and click on copy template. This will copy it to your Glide account and all you need to do is go to the data editor and start adding in your own data. This template has three tables. The first is admins. These are people on your team that are going to need access to this rental items manager. After that, we have item types. These are the rental item types that are available. So if you're renting out cars or skateboards or tents or something else, this is where you would specify that general item type. You can give it a name, a description, a picture, and a monthly price. After that, we have items, and these are the specific items that you have available for rent. We specify the item type, the unique identifier, and if it's available or not. If we scroll over, we can also see this is where we store the specific uh, customer who is renting out this item. We have their name, email, number, and the contract that they signed. I hope this free template is useful for you. If you need any help implementing this template or creating another Glide project, you can reach out to me also from that link down in the description. Just click on this button here where it says hire me. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. Again, a link to where you can get that rental items manager template for free is right there for you in the description. And if you liked this video or you want to check out some other Glide templates that I've created, definitely check out that uh, playlist right there. I have templates for different use cases and a lot of my tutorials go into more depth than I was able to do in this video. So check out that playlist. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck on your next project and happy coding.